Hello friends, this is Miki Menez, and probably you know me because my weathering on tanks, but maybe you doesn't know that one of my favorite subjects and hobbies is the railways. Yes, since I was a children, I was used to, to make trains, and I am here to introduce you a new product from AMO, that is the new rail center acrylic colors that you can use to paint your rolling stock, wagons, locomotive, but also buildings. Those paints are extremely new, we designed it exclusively for trains and you will be surprised how incredible you can paint with them. They fix very well over any surface, doesn't matter if it's glossy or plastic or varnished, you will obtain incredible results. So here I will explain you now how to paint by brass and in the next video I will explain you how to use with eye brass. So come with me and enjoy this video. The Rail Center range of paints and products is specially designed for the world of trains, including colors for all major rail companies worldwide. Rail Center acrylics can be used with brush or airbrush and can be applied directly from the bottle. An acrylic thinner is available, which can also be used to clean brushes and airbrushes, as well as to thin paint if necessary. Each set contains six colors each researched and designed to paint locomotives and rolling stock from different parts of the world. Among the initial sets you will find English, German, and North American locomotives, as well as several sets dedicated to different railcar types. Rail Center also provides solution boxes, a series of complete sets designed specifically for painting and weathering both American and German trains. The first example demonstrates how a freight wagon was easily repainted with a reddish-brown tone over the original gray of the model. For this simple task, the Rail Center color Boxcar Brown was applied using the synthetic filbert brush number no. 6 from Ammo. All Rail Center paints feature a stainless steel paint mixer in the bottle to ensure the perfect mix every time. A few drops of paint were placed on the palette and applied directly from the bottle undiluted. Dampen the brush and apply the paint directly onto the surface. It is important to make all of your brush strokes in the same direction, in this case, from top to bottom. Be sure to paint the correct areas on the inside as well. The Rail Center line of paint can be applied on any surface, including plastic, resin, and metal. Once dry, the finish of the Rail Center acrylics is completely matte and dries to the touch in just five minutes. The process of changing the base color is very easy, simply using a brush. This method avoids having to dismantle the piece. Now you will be shown how to work on a wagon that has been previously weathered. The tremendous covering power of the Rail Center range allows you to work on previously repainted parts. Of course, these colors can be mixed together. This time, both dark blue and deep green were used. The brush strokes were applied exactly the same as shown on the previous example. The paint will hold perfectly on the surface and will dry to the touch in approximately five minutes. As you can see, the color has easily been completely changed eliminating any remains of the previous color. Whether you want to change the color of your new projects or renew the paintwork on your older trains, Rail Center is the best option. As you will see in a future video, Rail Center paints worked perfectly with a brush and airbrush. Find all sets, solution boxes, and solution box mini from Rail Center on our website, www.ammo.es. Don't miss the following exciting video focused on the application of the Rail Center range by Airbrush. Discover many more videos on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate notifications. Thank you for watching.